everyone welcome back to our rest api series so so far we have explored what rest is and how resources and your eyes work but here is a question about how do we actually interact with these resources that's where HTTP methods come in in today's video we will dive into the four key HTTP methods used in rest full apis which is the get post put delete we will also see how these methods let us create read update and delete data in a web service so let's jump right into it so let's look at this diagram to make an overview of the http methods so at its core, HTTP methods are the verbs of the web. They define, they define the actions you want to perform on a resource in a RESTful API. The four main methods are get, put, post, and delete. There is one fifth called patch, and we could also discuss what is, what are the differences between put and patch, but let's assume that we have the four main uh, the four main methods get post put and delete the get is used to retrieve or read data from the server the post is used to send data to to the server to create a new resource the put used to update an existing resource or create it if doesn't exist the delete used to remove a resource from the server these methods map directly to CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. Let's talk about the get method. And let's look at this example in Postman. So let's start with the get method. Get is used to retrieve data from the user. Think of it like opening a book to read. You're not making any changes. You're just defueing the information. An example, as you can see, there is a postman uh, echo.com slash get. You can make multiple uh, examples, like you have like get users or get users slash one, two, three to retrieve a specific user with the ID one, two, three. So get requests are both safe and item potent. And we will talk in a bit what item potency mean. Safe means that it won't modify any data on the server. And item potent means that repeating the request will always have the same result. So no matter how many times you request the data, the outcome remains the same. So as you can see here in this example, this get request retrieve um, information from postman echo. And we got back headers and we got your eye. Also, you got body. You got a lot of things. The second thing we need to talk about the post method. So if you go to postman and you change this to be post method, you'll be able to create post requests. So post is used to create a new resource on the server. Imagine adding a new chapter to a book. It's something that didn't exist before and now it does. So you can have a lot of like an example of post request. You can do like let me like post like slash users for example this is the URIs to create a new user on the server the request body will contain the data for this user you will have a body which will be an object as a name email things like that however unlike get post is not idempotent this means that sending the same post request multiple times will create multiple resources second thing put request display the put request uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, the put uh, not display uh, <laughs> the put method is used to update an existing resource or create it if it doesn't exist. It's like editing a chapter of book. If the chapter exists, you 
update, you update it actually. If it doesn't exist, you write a new chapter. So example for that, you, for example, you need to edit, like I make a put request for the slash users and you need to make it with the user that has ID one, two, three. Put in item potent. So no matter how many times send the same put request, the result will always be the same. Because put is always item potent. Um, the lastly, we need to talk about the delete. So finally, we have the delete. Delete is used to remove resource from the server, like triggering page out of, the, or like tearing a page out of the book. For example, if we have delete and users slash one two three, uh, this will remove the user with the ID one two three from the server. Delete is also item potent. After the resource is deleted, repeating the request will have no further effect as well. I guess we right now need to talk about what item potency actually is and what it means. So let's talk about the item potency and safe methods. So let's talk about how, uh, let's talk about two important concepts, item potency and safe methods. We have already mentioned that get, put, and delete are item potent, meaning that repeating the same request will always result in, this, in the same outcome. Post, however, is not that important. It creates a new resource each time you send it. Safe methods like get don't modify any data on the server, so they are safe to use as many times as you want without making any changes. Also, it's important to talk about some HTTP methods code for each method. So, if we want to talk about, like, in the get, if we talk about 200, with 200 oak, if the get request, if um, if 200 oak, if the request is successful, and um, uh, 404 not found, If it doesn't, if the resource doesn't exist, also there is post in the post. We have two hundred and one, which is created when a new resource is created, and four and four hundred for bad requests. In the put, there is um, 200, which is oc, or 204, which is no content if the update is successful, and, and 201, which is created if a new resource was created. Number four, delete, say 200, which is oc, and 204, which is for no content. If the deletion was uh, 200 and 204, is if the deletion was successful, and 404, if, uh, if, uh, if not found. And handling this status code properly ensure your application can respond um, in the best way possible for different situation. Um, I guess we need to talk about some common mistakes in best and best practices in 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 in, uh, in using HTTP methods and status code. Uh, the first common mistake, uh, the first one will be um, using get to perform a delete action. Always use the correct method for uh, actions you are performing. The second is not handling HTTP status code properly. Make sure your app understands what to do 
with responses like four or four or five hundred. Number three, which is best practices, use post to create resources, put to update or create, and delete to remove resources. Always follow the conventions for clean, predictable APIs. So that's an overview of the four main HTTP methods used in, in, in RESTful APIs, get, post, and put, and delete. These methods allow us to interact with resources in a clear and uh, structured way, making it easy to build scalable web services. In the next video, we will explore the concept of statelessness in REST APIs and why it is so important for scalable systems. Make sure to like this video if it, if it helped. Subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.